What's up guys? So in this uh, series of how to tattoo, we are going to go over today's video, which is how to stencil. So this is a screen grab from my iPad. So I use an iPad Pro. Um, you can probably pick up uh, an iPad Pro now for a couple hundred pounds. Um, you will need a Apple Pencil though. That's the, that's the thing you need. You can't do this using your fingers touching your screen because you just can't get um, precise enough and what we will use um, today is this app down here which is called procreate so what we'll do is open procreate it will come to this screen so what you want to do now is go up to this plus section here at the top of the screen and then just press screen size so then you want to go up to this spanner up the top here and then you want to go insert and then insert flat image right then it will choose a source then you want to go to photos wherever the image is saved from the reference piece that you're going to be tattooing so mine i'm going to go for this rose down here so that's just in my camera roll so we're going to click this rose we'll resize it to make it a bit bigger and then we'll just press the arrow button up to towards the top to just unselect it then you want to go to this section up here which is the layer section, the layer tab, and you want to create another layer. Now you want to make sure that the, the layer two, the blank layer, is selected before you start drawing your stencil. Because if you draw it on this layer, it's not going to work. You'll understand why later. So then once that's selected, you want to grab your Apple Pen and then you and then you want to go to the brush section at the top and then just choose your size. Now I roughly go for about a 20 right and you just want to make sure it's a nice size so you want to make sure the layer 2 is selected which I'm which I'm doing now yeah so that's selected right now you you zoom in and then you just draw your lines with the pencil and you want to go through the whole piece like this picking out every line that you're going to need to use right so this is me using the pencil then you want to reposition it again and you want to use the screen use the iPad turn the image make sure you've got a nice stencil so you're not straining your hand because you know your hand will need all the strength it can get in the tattoo phase right so just picking out every single line we'll just fast forward it so it's so we're putting out so we're just uh, picking up every single line here. Yeah, making sure that you're still on layer two. So this is what it looks like without. This is me just turning the layer on and off underneath. So carry on picking the thing, the uh, the lines out. Right. So what when you've done your lines? See, let's. It's, it's layer two. When you've done your lines, normally I go down with the size, and I'll just pick out the shading areas that I'm going to shade so pack out all the little pick out all the little shading spots all the little shadows right where you're going to shade and then the black bits what I normally do is just um, hatch it draw lines just a bunch of straight lines to show that's a black a solid black bit here you go, this is what I'm doing now. Solid black lines to show it's a, a black bit. But you always want to cross-reference anyway when you're doing the tattoo um, to how you're gonna shade it, right? So if it if it's so I know it in here I'm gonna use solid black and then I'm gonna fade it out to like a, a grey tone, a dark grey tone. So you'll still see this bit lighter than this bit. But that's just how I how I stencil it today. So I'm going through all the bits that I I want black, and you just do this throughout the whole the whole piece. As you can see now, where where I'm picking things out, I'll probably do this in black. Yep. Yeah. We'll just fast forward it. Again, I'm picking out all the little. All the little shadows so I'll get this one here look 
And it's these little shadows that really make a difference in your tattoo. And you wanna make sure you get all the details possible. Picking out all the little shadow bits, making sure you get all the details, all the shadows, because this will really stand out in your final piece, in your final product. When you eventually finish, it's gonna look like, I think this is nearly done now. When you eventually finish, I'm gonna turn this layer off, layer one, so you can see that there is the final, that there is the final product, right? That's the final stencil I'm gonna put through my stencil machine. Obviously we use the color red because reds I found in any picture I've done, red you can see it, whether it's um, over, because this was a pink, pink and a red and a, a kind of a purpley rose, right, I did. So I'm not gonna do this in color, I'm gonna do this in black and bl black and gray, but you can see the red over the color. So it's the most prominent color that I've found that I can see when I'm stenciling. If you use black, um, sometimes you can't see it um, within the stencil, especially if you're using like a black and gray reference, right? So we'll then go to this section up here and we'll, we'll go to color hue and saturation and brightness and we'll bring this, this one all the way down, the bottom bar all the way down so it goes black, right? And you want to just position it, make sure it's all good, sweet, have a quick look at it. Um, Cross-reference it to the uh, other layer up there, whatever you need to do. Make sure it's all nice. Make sure you haven't missed any lines. Make sure you are ready. So what I do is I'll then go to share up the top here. Spanner, share, share artwork, and then choose JPEG. This will export it, and then I'll airdrop it to my MacBook Pro, right? So then... Once you've done that, it will go onto your laptop and then you just print it out from there, choose the size, make sure the size is nice for the uh, for the rows and um, for, the, for the session. And that's it, that's literally it. So um, yeah, once you've printed it out, you then stick it through the, uh, and you've got the right size, you stick it through the, the stencil machine with the thermal paper and you then cut it out, lay it on the skin and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, it's done, it's ready, it's done, it's, it's, it's on the skin, you let it dry for 10-15 minutes. I normally do the stencils before I set up because it allows it a good while to dry, you know what I'm saying, um, while you're setting up, so I normally set up in about 15 minutes, so it will give it a good 15 minute spell to dry. If the client needs to eat, then he can eat in this, you know, in this area of time while you're setting up do you know what i'm saying if he needs to snack on if he hasn't eaten surely he or she has to eat a couple hours a good meal a couple hours before um make sure your client brings sugary snacks um no caffeine try and stay away from caffeine uh, because this can heighten senses and make you not relax as well you know um so yeah so that's it that's it for this video, guys. Um, thank you for sticking with me on this one. Uh, if you've got any questions, give me a shout. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.